All right, it's good to be here. I remember a time in my life, I was nine years old, and I was watching an NSYNC concert with my family. Do you remember NSYNC? I can tell because you just left. <laughs> and when we were watching that concert, well, first, you need to understand, everyone in my family sings really well. And at that time in my life, I was not a good singer. I was terrible. I was awful. My mom would tell you that. I'm not lying about it. And they could sing along to NSYNC and sound good. And I was not sounding good. But lucky for me, in this particular NSYNC concert, Justin Timberlake walked to the center of the stage. And in front of thousands of people overflowing the Madison Square Gardens, and in front of millions of viewers watching worldwide, he didn't sing. He beatboxed. And beatboxing is just making drum noises and musical sounds with your mouth. Uh, it's a human's way of imitating drums and what they sound like. But when he did that, my mind was blown. I loved it. I wanted nothing more in life than to do that. And my mom, she did as any mom would do, and she told me the brutal truth. Parker, you can't sing, so you should do that. <laughs> and so I wanted to do that, and that year for Christmas, she got me that very concert on VHS tape. And I watched it, and I tried to follow along with the beatboxing, and I then rewinded it and tried to do that over and over and over again until I could actually beatbox. And... That never, it didn't stop there. Uh, I pursued it all the way through elementary school, middle school, high school. I'm in college right now. I would take every opportunity I could to perform, whether it was a student talent show, a county fair, a state fair, any opportunity I could, I took it. And then YouTube became a thing, and I could post videos there. And I was trying to pursue beatboxing and music to the best of my ability, take it as high as I can possibly take it. And I still feel that way. Well, in October 2015, I had a video go internationally viral, and that video was of me beatboxing with a McDonald's cup and using the straw as a tool to change the pitch as I move the straw up and down. And today, that video is well over 600 million views on Facebook. And with that came so many huge opportunities, opportunities that a kid like me from a small town in Idaho, was not familiar with or exposed to ever, right? I was, I was put on the Steve Harvey show. I was on Ridiculousness. I was featured on America's Got Talent and Outrageous Acts of Science. Hundreds and of articles around the world, Huffington Post, MTV. It went viral around the world. I was on the Good Morning American version of, uh, Good Morning America version in Japan and they labeled me straw man. <laughs> and it just went crazy all over the world, just <laughs> mind blown. And oddly enough, I was able to get my very own McDonald, McDonald's commercial and picture this college student in Rexburg, Idaho, picked up in a black Escalade, driven to the airport, fly to Los Angeles, get picked up by a limo driver, takes you then to a McDonald's commercial set. I was amongst a lot of people there. Uh, do you need snacks? Do you need water? Can we do anything for you? Uh, women were throwing makeup onto my face. <laughs> and the guys were pointing lights and cameras at me. And it was at that moment where I realized, I can do this. I can do this. Chubby white kid from small town in Idaho who loved beatboxing, learned to beatbox, and then took it to a point where I was then performing it for a McDonald's commercial on TV shows and in tons of different conferences. I started to realize I can do this, and that's where I got the name Lights, Camera, Passion is because I was passionate about beatboxing, and no matter what, I continued to do it. And so that's kind of my story. Uh, it's a really, uh, I guess, a testament to me that people can do what they want to do, as weird it is, as it is. Like, I make weird noises, you know? 
like getting LinkedIn account. People were like, if you have a LinkedIn, you must be a business major. It's like, no, I make weird noises with my mouth and I'm very successful on LinkedIn. So I, I feel like it's just, it's just if you have something you enjoy doing, then you're meant to do it. And if you pursue it, then you're going to live a lot happier and you're going to be successful because what it is you're doing, you're going to do for free anyway. So enough talk. I'm here to beatbox for you. And I hope you enjoy it. share something else with you real quick. You know, high schoolers do a lot of really stupid stuff. And when I was in high school, my friends just started asking me, can you snore and beatbox? Can you laugh and beatbox? Can you tie your shoes and beatbox? Can you do this and beatbox? And I really was attracted to the snoring thing and laughing thing for some reason. So I'll show that to you real quick. <laughs> and here's the snowy one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> the last thing I'll do real quick, I just call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I'm not creative and I don't know a different name to call it. But this is to show you how many things that I can do with my mouth at the same time without looping myself with technology. This is just 100% me and a microphone. Uh, and I'm going to hold up a finger every time I add in a new beat, and I can get up to eight different beats going simultaneously. Just a little bit of freestyle. <laughs> 